Aha! Oh, my hair is really screwed up today. <laughs> What's up, everyone? DSP here. It is Sunday, May 10th, 2015, as I record this. I don't know when you'll be watching it. Welcome to the Weekend Preview. And you may be noticing something missing from the top of the video. And, uh, yeah, as you guys know, for the past several months since I started using Patreon, what I've been doing is anyone who donates a dollar or more to my Patreon account has been getting their name featured in the week in preview. However, I tried to do it for this video, and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? I guess sometimes success, the growth of success, ends up coming back to bite you. We've got so many people who were pledging to my Patreon in the month of April, over 150 people, that this doesn't work anymore. It glitches out and doesn't list everyone. It, it stops and, like, starts overlapping. It's really messed up. Let me show you. The only thing I can really do, I'll show you quickly here, is I know how bootleg this looks, and I know how pathetic this is, but this is a list of all of the patrons for the month of April. And I really apologize to you guys that I cannot show your names off the way I used to, simply because uh, it doesn't work. The plugin, the basic text plugin for OBS, which is the uh, streaming and capturing software that I use, only supports up to a certain number of, of, of text per line, and then it starts to glitch and overlap and not work properly. So here are the names. I wanted to get those out there before we get started. Uh, if anyone uses OBS and has a suggestion, knows a way to do scrolling text for over 150 names, or if you use OBS and you know a good plugin, a recommendation of a plugin for OBS that may solve the problem, if you could please let me know in the comments of this video or email me at darksidephil at hotmail.com, I'd greatly appreciate that because I would like to get that crawl back going, but like I said, it glitches out. If you take a look here, you can't see my cursor, but around Darkside Abraham, there's a name in here, Darkside Abraham. Where you see that name, that's where it glitches and then it just starts repeating special thanks to the April patrons and overlaps and never gets to the second half of the names in here. So I apologize for that, guys, that I can't do the crawl. I hope that I can get a solution for next week. We'll see what happens, okay? So I digress. Let's get. Let's go back to what we were doing. This is the week in preview. Thanks, everyone. Uh, this week, unfortunately, is kind of an uncertain week. And what I mean by that is I thought, for based off what people were telling me for a couple weeks, that this week was going to be a big week with episodic releases mixed in with other stuff. And now it looks like it's not the case. I was actually looking forward to Life is Strange Episode 3, as well as uh, Tales from the Borderlands Episode 3. But now I, I did research, come to find out that neither of those games supposedly are really coming out this week. Or if they are, they haven't been solidly announced, so it's not like we're definitively knowing they're going to come out. They still may. You know how Telltale Games is in particular. They'll release anything willy-nilly whenever the hell they want. But for the most part, we don't know, and chances are they're not going to be released this week. So that forces me to think about what I want to do. And the thing is, normally I say, oh, well, that means there's time. I'll start new projects and stuff. But I don't want to start anything new because we're actually smack dab in the middle of a bunch of stuff already. And in addition to the stuff we're already in the middle of, next week we've got a giant release in The Witcher 3 that's going to take up tons of time. And the last thing I would want to do is start something new this week and then have it on hiatus for weeks because we're playing Witcher 3. So I ask you for your patience. I ask you to bear with me as I go through what I think the plans for this week will be, and let's see what you think, okay? So tonight, the week in preview, it's already it's already 9 p.m. my time. I just spent an hour trying to figure out how to get those patrons on this crawl. It's not working, uh, so unfortunately, no, no other gameplay tonight. But I did upload the first of three batches of MKX versus viewers, uh, uh, MKX versus viewers. DSP versus viewers, MKX multiplayer from today's stream. Every Sunday, remember, I'll be doing a multiplayer stream with viewers. And I recorded over 40 matches today. 15 have already gone live on DSP Gaming. Tomorrow, another 15. And then the remainder will go live on Tuesday. So for the next few days, you'll get your MK fix if you've been looking for it. And by the way, that's a wide variety of characters and matchups in there. So that should be a lot of fun. Okay? Um... Tomorrow, Monday, we're going to finish up Wolfenstein The Old Blood. And if you haven't yet, if you haven't checked out this playthrough, and you are like, man, it just sounds like a generic uh, Nazi shooter, because that's what it is. You throw back, you're in World War II era as the main character of Wolfenstein, BJ Blazkowicz, and you're killing Nazis. Once this game hits Chapter 6 of 8, the game throws you for a loop. The whole thing changes, flips on its freaking head. And I am loving the game now, and I cannot wait to finish it up tomorrow and see how it finishes, because I was so blown away, without spoiling, because it isn't that much of a plot spoiler to know what the change is, 
It's really good, and I'm, I'm very excited. I really am very excited to see what happens tomorrow when I finish up this game. So I've got two chapters left. Chances are it'll take me a couple hours to maybe three hours to beat that. So that'll be first stream tomorrow, Monday. Uh, I will not be doing a second stream because what I'll probably be doing is taking the time to do a review. Because that's right. I actually want to do a review of Wolfenstein The Old Blood being that it's only a $20 release and how good as I've thought that it is. I think it warrants a review and I'm definitely going to put one out tomorrow night. So that's all of tomorrow is basically Wolfenstein, and of course, like I said, those MKX videos will be going live too. Tuesday, the return of Persona 4, which is great, right? We've all been waiting since Saturday. I'm right in front of the freaking boss room, for God's sakes. We want to see me do the boss, continue on with the story. That's going to be first stream on Tuesday. Tuesday night, I'm going to be checking out a new character in MKX. I haven't decided who it is yet. It might be Scorpion, it might be Quan Chi, it might be uh, Kung Jin, it might be... Uh, Jax, it might be Jackie, it might be Shinnok, there's all these characters I haven't played with yet, and I'm interested in trying out a new character, and what I'll do is I'll take them into the lab for about, you know, 20 minutes to a half hour, mess around with them there, the three modes, then I'll take them into some tower gameplay, and then depending on how much time I have on that second stream, I may even do a little bit of online play, okay? Wednesday, what's Wednesday gonna be? Well, I'm thinking what I can kind of do is maybe flip-flop a little bit, all right, and what I mean by that is maybe Wednesday I continue on and I try another new character in MK, and then maybe I do some online play there, and then maybe Wednesday night we do Persona 4, or if I really am enjoying Persona 4 and I want to do two straight days with main streams of Persona 4, I will do it. All right, I'm not, I'm not above doing that. I mean, I am very interested in checking it out if it seems like it's really good, and I mean, I love the game. Let's face it. By the way, patrons are currently voting on that. And uh, it looks like right now Persona 4 may stay as full-time. And people are saying, once I beat this dungeon, it's basically the home stretch. So I might as well just keep playing it like crazy and maybe beat it by the end of this month. Although when Witcher 3 comes out, I don't know about that. Okay. So Tuesday and Wednesday are going to be a balance of Persona 4 and MKX. If you want 100%... You know, confirmation on how that's going to go down. Check out my Twitter every night at they call me DSP. I'll decide and I'll let you know that night before how it's going to happen. Thursday is going to be a split. It's probably either going to be MKX or Persona 4 on first stream. And then second stream is going to be Hate Live, my podcast. We'll talk all about the stuff that's happened during the week. We will. There will be a Back in the Day segment. Some people are so upset that I didn't do the Back in the Day segment last week. And I understand a lot of people love that segment. I've got two really good ones set up for you guys. And the first one is this week. It's going to be about me and my local mall and the arcade scene that was there. And all the fun stuff that I did at that mall. The different stores at that mall that I used to frequent. And also how you know tournaments that used to be there. It's going to be a, a fun discussion uh, about, about uh, stuff at that mall. Okay? And uh, it should be fun. It should be fun. So that should be a good uh, back in the day. I'll tell you all about the, you know, not only the job that I held there, but the characters that I knew uh, there, the snacks, hang out with there at the weekends. You know, most kids go to the mall, they hang out there because, uh, oh, it's the mall. You know, you walk around, you buy stuff. That wasn't even there. It was like such a cool tournament scene there that it was such a different experience. But I'll tell you all about that uh, on, on uh, the back in the day segment this week, okay? And then this Friday... Whatever I didn't play on Thursday, so if I played MK on Thursday, it'll be Persona 4 on Friday or vice versa. On the gameplay stream, there will be no second gameplay stream because that will be the, again, best and worst of Heavy Rain Montage series continuing. I strongly urge you guys, if you haven't checked out the series yet, it's really, you know, people are really liking it. This week in particular, I put special stuff into it, into the montage, like scenes and stuff from other stuff to make it funny. People seem to really like it. And, uh... You know, it, it, it's it's doing pretty good so far. I hope that you'll keep watching it because it seems like it's going to maybe take around eight parts, if not a little more, to actually finish that montage series, okay? And again, patrons are voting on what the next game will be for that montage series once Heavy Rain's over. So that's going to be Friday night. Saturday and Sunday, as you guys know, I typically only do one stream. So more than likely, Saturday will be Persona 4 and Sunday will be MKX with fans. And listen, guys, listen, I know. I know a lot of people are going to say, well, this kind of sucks because the whole week is just Wolfenstein and then MKX and then Persona. I know. You know what I mean? Like I know it's a, it was a good during the, the the during the months of February, March, and April. Even though there wasn't a lot of great stuff, let's face it. I'd say probably on, on one hand, Bloodborne, MKX, uh, maybe to some extent, you know, Dragon Ball. I liked Resident Evil Revelations too. There wasn't anything amazing to bull you over, but at the same time, there was a variety of content. This month, until we hit Witcher Three, there's really not a hell of a lot going on, and I apologize for that. You know, as I said, I'm already in the middle of Persona Three or Persona Four. I'm doing MKX. I don't want to start something else now to throw a monkey wrench into everything. 
okay? So, all this week, that's kind of the plan. If anything changes, let's say, oh my god, all of a sudden, last minute, oh, guess what? Life is Strange is coming out. I'll update the schedule, and I'll let you know, but for now, it seems like that's par for the course. Now, next week will be a lot of fun, because as I said in my, this piece of hair, look at this piece of hair. What is this? Why is it sticking out like that? All right, what, here, here. Okay. Uh, looks great. So, so, next week, Witcher 3 is coming out, okay? And that's going to be a big one. I've been looking forward to that for a long time. And, as I announced on Hate Live, I'm doing a special coverage event where I'm actually playing it early. I'm going to play it that Monday because it's available supposedly on PSN at 4 p.m. Uh, Pacific time on Monday. So, I'm going to do a special marathon stream that Monday. Uh, which is what, May 18th? Yeah, May 18th. We're we'll all be doing a marathon of The Witcher 3. So I hope you guys will tune in for that. But we've got to get through this week. So if you're liking MKX, it's good news. If you're liking Persona 4, it's good news. If you're like, damn, I wish Phil would do something different, it's kind of bad news because unfortunately there's nothing to do without getting caught up in something I wouldn't finish. All right? And that's the last thing I want to do right now. So that's the week. I'm looking forward to it because I'll tell you, Wolfenstein is a surprisingly good game for for the budget uh, that it cost, uh, or the, the budget title, being a budget title. Can't wait to finish that tomorrow and review it. Really looking forward to more Persona 4. You know, I'm liking everything, but I understand it gets stagnant, especially MKX now we've been playing for a freaking month. The thing is, the game supports it. There's so much content in the game. It supports it, but it is the same game, and I understand that guy. So, we'll, we'll get to new stuff next week. This week will be the final week kind of just focusing on those three games, okay? That is it for the week in preview. Salud. I hope to see you for that content this week. Peace out and see you then. And once more, special thanks to the April patrons who normally would have their names scrolling across the screen but could not because OBS doesn't support it. Thanks a lot, guys. It's because of you that all this is possible. And, of course, to you, the common viewer as well, whether or not you are a paid patron, you are much appreciated. Thank you very much. See you later.